viewers, in this video, I'm going to give you a more complete test of the RC12 touchpad air mouse keyboard. Last time we did an unboxing, but we didn't have time to do a full test. So what I'm going to show here is the touchpad functionality. If you click and you scroll to the left with the touchpad, it will go left, right, the cursor will go right and up and down. And actually any motion doesn't have to be at those 90 degree movements. It is very sensitive and will let you navigate um, pretty much any direction. You can always click and drag by clicking like the left mouse button. Um, and um, beauty of it is uh, there's also a right scroll bar if you can see on the touchpad. Now if you scroll your finger usually I find that my thumb works well. If you scroll up your thumb, you can make the page go down quickly or make the page go up, just like that, down or up. And it's very convenient, similar to what you would expect if you were using a uh, laptop. And you can all, always tap to click. Uh, in this case, exactly what I did, just tap and click on the touchpad. Um, and um, you can also click and hold the left mouse button and drag to scroll slowly up and down. Um, so exactly what you would expect if you were using pretty much a laptop touchpad. Now um, what we can also show you here is that there's two buttons, left and right mouse buttons, but there's also an escape button. The escape button is very useful for going backwards. And escape button and the right mouse button, many on many occasions will give you the same functionality. Now, if say we click the uh, apps and we wanted to try scrolling with the cursor keys, we can do that too. So the cursor keys are very useful. If you wanted to navigate um, by cursor keys, you can go left, right, up, down. Um, works really well. And um, yeah. now if you look at the very top, there's a whole bunch of special keys. These include keys for power, uh, home, mail, music, volume controls. All these keys are available if your Android TV stick supports it. If it does not support the RC12, you may not be able to use all functionality. All right, so if we were to hit the power button, or oh, I hit it twice, but um, if you were to hit it, the power button once, it would bring the Android TV stick to a sleep mode and uh, helps you conserve energy and shut off the HDMI signal. And if you hit it again and you wait a second or two, usually your Android TV stick will come back fine. Uh, notice that uh, on this Android TV stick we're testing, it does not have a power option icon anywhere on the bottom. So having this feature in the RC12 is very convenient. Um, just hit the power button like you normally do on a TV or VCR and boom, it, the signal shuts off. So um, very cool. I think um, the one other test we probably want to do here um, with the RC12 before we go is to demonstrate the keyboard responsiveness. So. Um, Let's, let's kind of do this test by, say, hitting the web browser and uh, typing in a URL to demonstrate how, how good the uh, keyboard is. So let's uh, open up the um, screen to, say, uh, on the uh, browser. And let's try to hit, say, uh, YouTube. So let me just click and change the uh, URL. Let me just type. Uh, YouTube here, dub dub dub. Uh, YouTube. And this will give you a feel, even though that even though the Android TV usually picks up the characters, let's just type the whole thing in. And you can see that uh, if you're a thumb typer, this this works great. Uh, hold it with two hands and type with your thumbs, and it pulls up the page. Uh, if you hit enter like a normal computer would, and if you were to tap and click. Um, you load your uh, pages. So um, hopefully this is a very good uh, uh, in-depth test and uh, we have more great Android TV gear to review.
please subscribe so you don't miss out. Uh, if you like this video, please tap the thumbs up. Hope to see you again next time. Thanks for watching.